nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Sean. I have to say. Um, nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Been watching Clever TV over the years, and I'm a big fan of yours. Really? Oh my goodness. We've had a lot of your cast members on the show, and after you know, like Lucas comes on the show or something, we'll get a million tweets from girls for you. Uh, what's the reaction been like with you from the fans? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Tons and tons of girls tweet us about you, crushing on you big time. Um, what's it been like as far as that goes? To be honest, I have to admit, uh, I never expected any sort of response like that. I'm just doing a job that I love, giving art and entertainment to humanity, and that's what I'm here for. Uh, in the sense that it's coming back, I'm extremely grateful that the fans are or love and Emmett, and, and since that happened, it, it's happened. But their support has been great. I appreciate all the fans. I love them all. Well, the show is so entertaining, and something that I've told you know all of you guys as I've met you is that you can really tell that you guys love each other, get along, have a good time working together. What's it been like coming back to set after being renewed? Was it for 22 episodes? Unprecedented. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you don't get that news, you know, very often. It's pretty crazy to do 10 episodes and then just get a whole 22 more. Um, so we're excited and, and happy to be back, you know. I mean, the day, the first day we came back, it was like we never left, you know. It's just excited. Yeah, and 32 episodes in total, that's amazing. Yeah. And it's I just think... truly amazing. It's historic for ABC Family, really, to do that. And one of their highest rated shows, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think I heard coming out number one out of the gate. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> now, your guys' characters obviously have tons, tons going on. When you came into the studio, Toby was dealing with his gambling issues. And mm -hmm. um, what's going down with Toby? What's happening? Well, I think Toby has is, is shifted his focus from gambling to, you know, his entrepreneurship of, of the band and nice. really trying to get his music out there. And Free booze. Free booze, week, yes, yes. Um, which did not work <laughs> so well, um, no. as we uh, found out. But um, you know, it was fun name though. Yeah, it was it was uh, yeah. uh, ingenious. That's the word <laughs> I was trying to think of. Um, but yeah, uh, other than the band, uh, I think you know he's on the prowl for some new um, a love connection. Yeah, I was gonna ask because we know Emmett's got enough yeah, love. You know, I mean. Ma Manslut over here is like <laughs> kissing everybody on the show. Really? You think so? <laughs> so what's happening with Emmett and Bay? I heard there's some trouble coming down the pipeline. Yes, there's mm -hmm. going to be trouble in a, in a rocky relationship like ours. Communication barriers, deaf and hearing, how are they going to get along? Daphne's in there is the third leg of the triangle. Uh, when jealousy is involved, anything can happen. So you're going to see some drama, and that's part of the story storyline that's coming up. No way to avoid it, and it's going to be interesting. It's fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. And I heard there's also a new character that's going to be introduced. Can you tell me anything about this new character? I, I don't. I think there's a few new characters. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, not so sure. Yeah, we get to meet Emmett's family. Oh, very, very, very cool. Yes, you are going to be introduced to uh, my life, my world, my deaf family. You're going to see what it's like behind deaf doors. It's very interesting, and I'm excited to show the world uh, what an authentic deaf family looks like in their private time. But another great part of the show is that it's not just about hearing people and deaf people. Right. You know, in Emmett's family, we get to see um, a divorced family mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, that compared to the, you know, presumably perf picture perfect, you know, Kenishes that have, you know, are still in a loving marriage and all of that, and then having Regina being a, a struggling single parent, and you know, it's 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 amazing to that we're seeing the different social classes compared to the different, you know, uh, hearing non-hearing uh, social or I mean, um, uh, cultures compared right. and everything, yeah. you know, it's unique. And you have, you know, it's not just the hearing deaf thing again. These are families that have love, and anytime there's love involved, there's compelling drama. It's not just the oppositions that are interesting. Yeah, last question. What have each of you guys learned from being a part of this show? Because I know personally, each week when I watch, I feel like I'm learning something. Whether or not you know it's happening or don't know it's happening, it's happening, you mm -hmm. know? I think the perception that I've got to witness um, that I didn't expect to, um, you know, coming to part of the show was the parents' point of view. You know, I actually sat and, and while watching it, thought about what I would, I mean, I don't have children, 
but it kind of puts you in that position to think of what if you had a kid and you raised them for 15 years and then you found out that it wasn't really your biological you know son or daughter and and that's such a trippy like you know um, thing to think about so I um, kind of been siding with the parents and thinking about that side of things it's, it's kind of interesting yeah. makes me feel a little older <laughs> it is very interesting to see how you know the switch situation and and how it's being handled I mean to put myself in their shoes I would be blown away uh, it's very interesting to to read a script that goes into those kinds of issues and the fact that I'm in a show like this uh, is helping me learn more and more about the world every day